Hello everybody, I'm Peter Gerlop and today I'm giving a video which I explained the, the 5 things that I feel like possibly hint or make sense that Jolica would have a bigger role in the in future for Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Also this isn't a top 5 list, it's just 5 things that I've seen, seen that really made sense and they are not in the order. But if you want, really wanted them to be in order, leave it in the comments below and tell me in which order you want them. Now, and after the season two, I might do another video with that, which will be top five things. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. Seriously, I would, I do read them. Number five. Now the first thing I want to be to be alluding to is in case if you haven't been aware of unlike most other fighters her accumulation was kind of hinted yeah hinted just say look at that I hope in case if you haven't seen it the thing that was was basically that the she you know, was always covered, never shown. Always there, but every but constantly something went into pictures. So as you can see from the intro, that's literally shown there. And in case if you have forgotten, unlike some other ones, well, when I said some, I mean every single other one. I mean, just look at this. Look at Alia. I mean. Alright, she's taking a selfie with her friend. That's just a child. That uh, minimal doesn't have that those those bubbles in there. Seriously, not one of these guys except maybe a couple of these Yeah, except maybe a few of them which you know don't really hint in anything really had that thing. She literally has that thing in the intro. Hell, I'm pretty sure even that's the face of someone who's sad. I mean, if you watch the show, you see that she isn't really constantly sad. So yeah, they hinted at her conversation. What's up with that? I mean, seriously, with these other guys, you can literally just, the most you can just show, see what they possibly could have akumatized. Her title of the story is literally shown in the intro. Number four. She looks like a hawk miraculous holder. And what I mean with that is... Just look at them. I mean, just look at that. Tell me if Nuro and Julika, like don't look like perfect combination. I mean, there's this person, there's this miraculous who's very loyal, and even though he doesn't agree with the master, he will still obey it. And Angelica is this really easily trusting person who doesn't really like to, who doesn't really think that much, he just agrees with anyone else's. They would be great as a combination. Some, and Jul and they, and not just that, look at Leiba, look at Marinette and, and Tiki. They look like a pretty, uh, pretty unique pair. I mean, one that's knowing and wants to help with everything, advice, but the other one is learning and it's confidence boost. That's a good combo. Someone who... You know, has so much, but everything what he really wants isn't a. Doesn't he really get allowed? What one? What's everything that the other one could have? A lot a combination, and since we haven't seen how the other ones will do, I think we can all agree that they also have a few things that makes the have them in combo. Oh, and awesome! How long could they really have? Adrian's father 
be Hawk Moth. I mean, again, Hawk Moth is technically supposed to be a hero. So, yeah, I think that goes without saying. Also, they don't specify what gender they must be to be these holders, but... Well, I still think that Julika makes a lot more sense for a Hawk Miraculous Holder. If you don't, you can also have her be the Peacock Miraculous Holder. Again, she basically could be put with both of them. Huh, I wonder if these are... What happens if you put the two normal Miraculous together? The, is that person just two times as powerful or something? I should make a video about that. Anyway, guys, below you, you think I should make a video about at the end of season two about what happened if two normal miraculouses like Fox Miraculous and Hawk Miraculous combine something. Number three. She helped save the day in more than just solar characters. And what I mean with that is, remember the episode Horrificator? When Horrificator was showing themselves, everyone was scared but Julika. And when it shrinked, Laybuck noticed that. And then when they, they, she, that Horrificator scared the other ones, except Julika, it grew. So basically that confirmed that. And who was the reason who get that out? Well, Julika, I mean, if they would just be terrified them, then they will know the fact they need to be brave to not to make him to make it weaker. And she also helped a couple of other times by basically doing what Lady Bar as well them do too. But then remember, if Julika wasn't there, Horrific Air couldn't beat Julia and McKenna couldn't beat Horrific Air. Think about that. Because of her, they actually won, won once. Just think about that. And also, they didn't really show really... Also, if they aren't... You know, scared... I don't think Leiba and Kano would figure that out, considering the fact that they were fighting and then we got shrink. Which is much better if you ask me. Me. And also... Uh... Alia helped outside just doing what they, the orders. Chloe did that too. And yeah, I think you did anything like that, but still. Isn't it kind of hinted at that, that she will be helping more? And also, I think that that will make a lot more sense that she helps more in that. Also, what happened to the Halloween special? I mean, would it make a lot more sense for her? Number two, she has a better story, only it's a story that will be interesting. I mean, think of, I mean seriously, think about it for a second. Just think about Julika's story, for, really. What will happen? Julika is going to get a miraculous that has done so much trouble in Paris that would honestly be assumed whoever wills it is automatically a bad guy. And so far, only thing we know about it is the fact that it can accumulate as people that makes them their followers. It can also do some other things because again, you get this incredibly powerful jewels, but except when your person can help you and give you some powers, nothing else, really, I'm pretty sure there are more powers. It's probably gonna be revealed in the future. Which also makes... Which would be great. Also, her friendship is with a person that's basically her poor opposite. And her and she seemingly has a relationship with Nathaniel. Which is kind of hard to tell. I mean... Because they never really have been... It's usually been those... Easter eggs, you could call them. them. Not really Easter eggs, I mean, those little clips that if you really look at them, you see them. Honestly, except the Bef when Bethina, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I don't speak French, which is one of the problems, considering the fact that this seems to be a French cartoon. 
<laughs> they we shall know we are wishes over there. But still, just think about this. A person that's basically having a miracle that everybody's gonna see in evil, with a relationship with a person who's not really popular guy, not a really that you know guy who I don't know girls want to go after or something. Just a guy who's a really good artist with a friend that's basically her power present. I mean, seriously, Marinette's whole story is she's a clumsy girl, her best friend's a support friend, she's in love with a really ha good, really athletic and poor guy. Seriously. Is it kind of telling? Is it just me or does is it just seems cartoons in the future just want to stop? With the main hair, we just want to focus on everything else. Seriously. Some, I should probably make a video about how that seems to be the going way in the future for these cartoons. And finally. Is the fact. She could actually keep her secret much better. And what I mean by that is. As much as all of you want to. As much as you can all say that for us it's obvious, maybe for them they think they see directly see or oh, here's kind of a difference or something. But really think about this. When you see Batman, you don't know who that is. I mean, just imagine if you live in a world, would you know that's Batman? The Batman is Bruce Wayne? No. If you were but in labor, it's kind of fucking obvious. I mean, with Julika, she's a person that a lot of people seem to involve, except Rose, Manette, and Alia, and Milian, I guess. Anybody else kind of is easily able to ignore. So, her sneaking out to transform is pretty good. And considering the fact that for some reason, Hawk Miraculous gives a wheel of this entire helmet. Or am I because the only two pictures of a Hawk Miraculous holder with, were two men, so it's kind of hard to tell. But still, she could possibly be hard to tell. And, but, and you know, the whole fact that they kind of give him this more business outfit. Or something like that would also be much better. And the fact that she isn't really much of a speaker, paying attention to anything, also helps. But that wouldn't be helpful if you don't look at some other ones. And unfortunately, all the two that are still existing, the other three are kinda obvious. First thing, think. How the fuck can no one tell Lady Box Marinette? I mean, the same color eyes, the same hairstyle, and pretty much showing super attention to this one person that's only real thing that could possibly make it stand out is the fact that she actually created a lady, that she basically created her first fan page. That's literally the only reason why anyone would notice that. Ken was a little better at hiding his identity because his his eyes aren't as obvious. But still, his eyes look pretty sa damn similar. I mean, seriously, I'm pretty sure except the green part, you could, could pretty much tell the same hairstyle. And also, pretty much could make awesome poses and showing off how what he can basically do. And a guy who's literally need to, to keep... His family image intact so he can do would pretty much make sense. And in the future there's gonna be a person that's going to be a log who is basically gonna be promoting her block every possibly every single time she helps and possibly gonna get some really the obvious and weird commentary. I mean yes, I'm sure in one of the episodes with Ada because of Opia is basically gonna be her cons every single time after the battle having review with her. I wouldn't be shocked to see that. Claire is a fashion star and all that. So she would possibly multiple times nearly say who she is. 
And me and this super fun loving guy who possibly uh, just made party this this and uh, for myself too. Jurika is not neither of those. So she could actually keep her identity a secret much better. And plus, if you're going to have Gok Moth losing his miracles, which to be fair, it would make sense. Yeah, it, was, it would make sense uh, that she would be also trying to be more open and basically being more of a center of attention or something. So yeah, it does make sense. Now, I hope you like this video. I hope you're gonna leave a like to subscribe to, um, to our channel for more videos in the future. I really hope this video show, shown how even though Draga could just be a more forgettable background character, they would do a lot of things that she has that could make her bigger. Now, also, with the whole Amira story, still haven't finished it, I'll tell you, when I finish the first chapter, I will update you. Now, 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 like I, like I said, leave a like, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye!